Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder with myself Bateson87 continuing the run of the best possible squad builders. Today's is going to be Poland. Now we haven't done this nation yet but I did remember using it last year and it's very very similar. A mix of gold and silver players and there is one really expensive player like there was last year as well. So before we get into it if you want any ultimate team coins in preparation for team of the year release make sure you go and check out battlea.com and use the discount code Bateson to get 5% off your coins and if you want any MSP or PSN codes go and check out g2a.com as well their link can also be found there so let's get on into it set up the parameters and build this team now there is a lot of people on the game who were originally but born in Poland but then changed their nationalities one of them um, you will know and if you do know who that is let me know in the comment section below the most uh, recognizable one so in net we have Szczesny the Arsenal Polish goalkeeper the Arsenal number one and you would think he'd be higher rated in the game being Arsenal's number one but he's only 79 rated and you can pick him up for discard most of these players you can pick up for discard anyway moving on to the two centre backs on the right hand side we went with Glick the 53 pace centre back uh, from Torino which is in the Serie A and then on the left hand side we went with Perquis uh, from Real Betis uh, from the league uh, BBVA you may see him appear in the Road to Glory Way Showdowns sometime so soon anyway as he's one of the best rated defenders uh, for the silver side of the BBVA moving on to the left back and we'll build the silver side first we have uh, Bowenish the uh, Leverkusen Polish left back um, a lot of people in the comment section will probably be a bit derpy and be like where's Alaba Alaba is Austrian so let's uh, clear that up now moving on to the center midfield spot and we went with Polanski he is also in the Bundesliga and then on the left hand side we have Rybus who is from the Russian League so there we have um, four of the five silvers the last silver is Sobish, Sobish sorry the 71 paced uh, Polish Sent, well, he's originally a striker. We moved down centre forward, and he does um, do the Bundesliga as well. So there is the silver side of it complete. Now the rest of it you will know. You'll know three of the four remaining. The first one being the right back position, and that is Piszczek, the uh, Dortmund right back, and one of the best right backs in the Bundesliga, bar from uh, Philipp Lahm. Um, but these two do get perfect chemistry and the right midfield is Kuba. I call him Kuba because that is his nickname because I can't say Blasio Skarskowski. So there we have it. 93 pace, 75 shooting, 78 passing, 82 dribbling. One of the best cheap bargain players you can get on the game. I do recommend using both of them um, if you're going to build a Bundesliga team. In the centre midfield position we have uh, Kreishowiak. I think that's how you say it. 59 pace, 80 defending, 81 heading. As a defensive midfielder, he did the uh, job very well. I did use uh, our man Polanski a bit more towards the attacking side, um, but Kreisjewek, Kreisjewek, <laughs> sorry, uh, was good at holding down the midfield, and I enjoyed having him there to uh, to clear everything up, especially when you've got two defenders with 53 and 54 pace. Moving on to the striker to finish off this whole team, and it is second in form Lewandowski from Dortmund. Now. This guy has signed a pre-contract agreement with Bayern Munich. So he will be joining Munich at the end of the season. Uh, a lot like what Goethe did uh, last season where he signed a pre-contract with, with Bayern as well and did continue to play for Dortmund, which is a bit strange really. You don't really see much of that in the BPL or any other leagues where people sign pre-contracts and then go and play for the rival team while currently playing for the rival team, uh, battling out to get the championship spot. But... Obviously, Dortmund, uh, Dortmund are going to maybe lose a few decent players as well, especially with uh, Gundogan and obviously Lewandowski heading out to Bayern Munich and bolstering their attack. Because that's the only thing which you which you do notice is that uh, Dortmund do lack in the attacking side of things. Just the strikers, really, uh, after Gomez did leave. So, there we have it, guys. That is the best possible Poland team built on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. It is quite cheap. Until you get to obviously uh, Lewandowski, who did cost in the region of 700k. So, if you want to build it yourself and you do build it this weekend, let me know in the comment section below if you did and whether you enjoyed it. Also, if we can smash over 2,000 likes to this, that'd be absolutely insane. And tomorrow we have the Greece squad coming. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is show you the highlights of the games that I did play with this team, and I'll be back in a sec. So we're back guys and these are the highlights we did get with this team. Now 
being a solo striker, you would expect Lewandowski to do absolutely everything, which he doesn't. He's uh, very limited. I know a lot of people, if you have used Lewandowski before, would prefer the pairing of either um, Aubameyang or Juve, uh, one of the slow... No, one of the slow, what am I talking about? One of the fast players in the Bundesliga. But unfortunately for this, he has got to be... Um, solo striker and uh, with the centre forward behind him who is silver and not that bad to be honest uh, if any of you guys have used that non-rare silver centre forward who we did have let me know in the comment section below what you did think of him with uh, Kuba and Piszczek they were solid they were bound to be solid absolutely awesome uh, attacking minded players as well so as long as you don't mind having gaps at the back with them slow paced centre backs they're fun to use as well the uh, Left back, what a goal that was by him, it was absolutely ridiculous, uh, that was the only thing he did do for me, he's very strong, he's worth a bit of coin as well, um, I think we picked him up for just under 2k, um, but for a high rated silver uh, left back in the Bundesliga, obviously you are going to be paying for that price. With the two midfielders, they were impressive, uh, slow pace, but the passing and the defending side of them were, were fun and I was glad to have them there, but the only thing I did struggle with in this team was obviously the attacking part of it, but... Lewandowski did sometimes take control of the game, uh, very strong, has an awesome shot and has four star skills as well. Now he's got awesome dribbling as you can see there and control and a brilliant shot to finish it off for a very nice goal. So guys, as I did explain, I will be moving on to the leagues a couple of uh, weeks time and hopefully they'll be as enjoyable as these squad builders. All the other ones I'm going to be moving away from the legends as well. I don't really uh, find time for legends anymore as they've been milked throughout the community. So guys, if you could leave a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Comment in the section below about what I've been asking and check out Battle if you're on team coins and use the um, promotion code Bateson to get 5% off your coins. Until next time guys, see you all later.